Hello, hello, writers. I'm Kristen Kiefer, author of fantasy fiction and creative writing resources, and you are listening to the Well Storied Podcast, where I share insights, encouragement, and actionable advice designed to help you craft sensational novels and build your best writing life, always in 30 minutes or less, so you can get back to writing, of course. Ready for the show? Let's get talking. Hello and welcome, or welcome back to the Well Story Podcast. I'm your host, Kristen Kiefer, and today is Thursday, October 15th, 2017. Today's episode is titled How to Rock Nano Remo This November, and if you'd like to read along as you listen in, simply visit www.well-storied.com slash rock nano. Now let's get started. I nearly chose to title this episode, How to Win NaNoWriMo, but I firmly believe that every word we write should be written from a place of joy. That it shouldn't matter whether we reach arbitrary word count goals, so long as we're satisfied with the effort we've given our creative work. Of course, the challenge of writing 50,000 words in a month can be an exciting one. Winning NaNoWriMo back in 2014 was the catalyst I needed to begin taking my creative work more seriously, and I'll never regret the month I spent feverishly chasing 50k. Whether or not you're determined to write half a hundred thousand words this November, let's talk about how you can set yourself up for a fantastic NaNoWriMo experience. But wait a second, what is NaNoWriMo exactly? Short for National Novel Writing Month, this annual event challenges participants to write 50,000 words of fiction in the month of November, an average of 1,667 words per day. Every year, over half a million writers worldwide participate in NaNoWriMo, which boasts official online forums, regional write-ins, and prizes for those who win by reaching 50k in 30 days. Should you participate in NaNoWriMo? While NaNo is undoubtedly an amazing event, participating in this challenge won't be right for every writer. With the holidays on the horizon, November can be a tough month to aim for added word count. As I share in another episode on the podcast, linked in today's episode transcript, chasing impressive output over consistent input can warp writers' understanding of the writing process progress, and success. If you're unsure whether NaNoWriMo is right for you, I encourage you to check out the podcast episode titled 8 Reasons to Participate in NaNoWriMo. But for now, here are 8 tips for making the most of your NaNoWriMo experience. If you're determined to take part in this year's epic writing challenge, then know that I'm excited to cheer you on. The two years I participated in NaNoWriMo were some of the most informative and empowering experiences in my writing life, and I can't wait for you to experience that same growth. If you're ready to make the most of your NaNoWriMo journey, here are eight tips and tricks I gleaned from my own experience. Tip number one, know your why. As a writer, you know it's important to give your characters strong reasons for pursuing their goals. But have you considered your own motivation for taking part in NaNoWriMo? You won't get very far if you're participating solely because everyone else is doing it. Instead, ask yourself what you hope to gain from the experience. Would you like to build up your tolerance to resistance? Or develop a consistent writing habit? Get involved in the online writing community try out a fun new project, or make some serious progress on the latest installment in your series. Whatever your reason for participating, let your why fuel your NaNoWriMo experience. Tip number two, determine your goal. Though NaNoWriMo officially challenges writers to pen 50,000 words of fiction in the month of November, you don't have to chase that exact goal to take advantage of this event. If you'd rather work on your memoir than write a novel, then go for it. If 30k in 30 days sounds like a more reasonable challenge, then don't hesitate to make NaNoWriMo your own. 
You may not win the official prizes that others will receive for reaching 50k, but you will have a much happier and more empowering experience. So, right on. Tip number three, make a plan. Just wing it is not an effective strategy for rocking NaNoWriMo. If you want to use this event to write big or level up your creative practice, then you need to have a game plan in place. To formulate an effective strategy for success, ask yourself, what do I want to achieve this November? How can I set myself up to achieve this goal? What obstacles might I encounter during the event? And how can I plan ahead to overcome these obstacles? If you'd like some help developing your story before NaNoWriMo begins, then why not download your copy of The Prewrite Project, Crafting Incredible Characters, and World Building Warrior. These PDF workbooks include insights and guided activities designed to help you craft your story with confidence and clarity. You can find them today at well-storied.com books, or the links are also included in today's episode transcript. Tip number four, carve out time and energy. Here's the thing, writing is rarely easy. It requires a level of time and energy that many of us rarely have given the busyness of our everyday lives. That's why making space for creativity before the first of the month begins is key. So open your planner or digital calendar and write down any events you have throughout the month. Consider these and any errands you'll need to run and try to consolidate them whenever possible. If there are events or tasks that you can nix from your schedule entirely, even better. Next, establish when you'll have the free time to write and make sure your family and friends know what you're doing. Ask them to be mindful of your time this November so you'll be less likely to face unexpected interruptions. Finally, find ways to fill your creative well before the event begins, especially if you're already feeling tapped out. Consider reading more heavily, taking a break from your creative work, or going on a mini adventure. Whatever fills you with the desire to open up the blank page and write. Tip number five, find your support system. Completing a creative challenge is difficult work. Chances are that you'll need a little encouragement along the way, which is why getting involved in the online writing community can be a game changer. Social media is always abuzz with writerly conversation this time of year. You can use hashtags like Preptober and NaNoWriMo to connect with fellow participants or engage with writers directly in the official NaNoWriMo forums. Looking to get involved face-to-face? -face? Why not check out some of the regional NaNoWriMo events taking place throughout the month of November? Tip number six, find your pressure points. Your reason for participating in NaNoWriMo isn't an infallible source of motivation. No matter how much you want to achieve your goal this November, you'll likely experience a dip in energy and excitement after the initial high of the first few days has worn off. If you've already established a sustainable writing routine, then you'll know that consistency and determination trump excitement any day. Writing can be difficult, but you cannot allow that difficulty to keep you from picking up the pen. Instead, find ways to introduce a little healthy pressure to your writing life. Some writers enjoy maintaining a daily or otherwise consistent write chain, rewarding themselves with a link each day they put words on the page, and starting their chain from scratch whenever they miss a session. Other writers use rewards, writing sprints, or session goals to encourage themselves to put their fingers on the keys. If you're unsure which method is best for you, why not use this month to experiment? You never know which form of healthy pressure might help you power through resistance and write. Tip number seven, quit the comparison game. Some writers choose to go above and beyond during NaNoWriMo, doubling or even tripling the 50k challenge in an attempt to one-up their previous year's word count. But more isn't always better. It's easy to look at other writers' word counts or story ideas and suddenly find your own to be lacking. 
but your creative self-esteem shouldn't be found in how you compare to other writers, especially considering that no two writers share the same process, writing routine, daily schedule, or literary interests. Simply put, there is no right way to be a writer. What is right is staying true to yourself. So rather than comparing your NaNoWriMo experience to others, choose a goal that challenges you in a healthy way, then pursue it with all your heart. Rock your writing life your way, and you can't help but have a positive NaNoWriMo experience. Finally, tip number eight, get in the right headspace. Time, energy, and story issues can certainly hinder our ability to sit down and write. But many writers fail to realize that the beliefs they hold about their skills and stories can radically impact their sense of creative self-worth and success, not to mention the progress they make on their projects. If you want to achieve your goal this November, first spend some time honing your mindset. What limiting beliefs do you hold about your creative abilities? What doubts and fears do you need to address head on? Once you've identified these negative mindsets, spend some time addressing them. You don't need to overcome your doubts, fears, and limiting beliefs to rock your NaNoWriMo experience, but you do need to develop strategies to work through them. Often, the best way to accomplish this is to use affirmations. Regardless of whether you truly believe them, repeating these truths when negative thoughts arise can give you the strength and motivation you need to keep on writing. So, are you ready to go forth and conquer? Challenging yourself in any creative capacity is hard work. Chasing big word count goals and other creative milestones requires time, effort, focus, and no small amount of dedication. It's no wonder so many writers face creative roadblocks and resistance throughout their journeys. Making the most of NaNoWriMo and your writing life doesn't mean performing at your creative peak at all times. You'll experience ups and downs in your journey no matter what, and that's okay. When writing gets tough, remember your why, practice your affirmations, and make a game plan for a successful writing session. Then double down and make it happen, my friend. You've got this. Thank you for listening to today's episode of The Podcast Writer, I hope you found it helpful to your writing journey. If so, make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you never miss a new episode and to give the podcast a quick rating or review. Doing so goes a long way toward helping the podcast reach new writers and lets me know that you're enjoying what I'm creating. You can also give me a shout out directly on Instagram at Kristen underscore Kiefer. For additional guidance as you work to craft sensational novels and build your best writing life, be sure to head on over to www.well-storied.com where I share blog posts, workbooks, e-courses, and other helpful resources for writers. Again, that's w-e-l-l-s-t-o-r-i-e-d.com. Thank you again for tuning into today's episode, my friend. Until next time, happy writing!